Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at filtering uh, MQTT topics uh, using Node-RED. And if you look at the top example here, this is actually taken from uh, Tasmoto switch and what we have is a command response. So we send the command to the switch and we get a response. And this is shown here, we, are, uh, we have a topic prefix which is optional, then we have a device and then we have command and then we have a subcommand, we, we're turning the power and then we have a value. Now this can actually be taken in the payload or it can actually be part of the topic structure. It depends. And we get a response back and again prefix, device, the status, result and the actual result is in the message payload. So that's what you'll see if you're uh, doing Tasmoto. Now you might not have a topic prefix and these might be reversed so you might have um, command main light power on so it depends you can set it up when you actually configure the, the Tesmoto switch so what we've got generally is we've got a topic prefix a device and a command a topic prefix device and a response and that's what we're going to look at today and how to filter that in, in node red so the first thing you have to do is subscribe to the, the topics and you can subscribe using the topic prefix plus the wildcard or you can subscribe using the topic prefix a wildcard command topic prefix wildcard response in which case you'll get two streams here so you'll need two MQTT nodes to do this but you'll finish up with two output streams and the filtering is effectively done uh, by the MQTT in node so you don't have to set up any any more filters if you do it this way um, but we're going to do it by subscribing to house and wildcard and we're going to filter from there so this is the the demo flow now this is basically showing the the two streams filtering house um, wildcard commander house wildcard response and we send it off into into the flow so say we're going to do it using subscribing to the house um, to the house wildcard topic um, but I'm not going to for the demo I'm not going to be subscribing to an MQT topic I'm just going to use some inject nodes to simulate that and you can see here I've got this inject node here injecting house main light command and, and we've got it further down here and we've got here has main light response. So this is basically simulating a command and a response for two di two different devices. The one one is called main light and the other one's called kitchen light. Now the first one is the f using the function node, and this is the function node example here. And what we do first thing we do is we split the topic using the split function, and then we filter. Now the because the topic is, is consistent of three elements the prefix the device the command the what we want is the the second value in the array which is either a response or command now you can see here we might have we might be using uppercase we might be using lowercase and so you can t take both values into account using this and this is the command and this is shown uppercase and lowercase again and also a variation which is CMND which is actually the one they use on the the Tesmoto switch so a very basic function here and then we return either return the return the message either on output 2 or output 1 depending on whether it's a response or whether it's a command so response gets comes out of here and a command comes out of here so if I inject the response in there you can see if I look over here it's come out of debug node 32 which is that one there which is 2 and if I put a command in there it's come out of debug node 31 which is the response so very basic um, now one thing I should mention as well is that um, you may have multiple levels of filtering so um, if we go back to this example here 
we not only might need to detect the fact that it's a command, we also might, might need to detect what kind of command it is. So this one is, is turning the power on and off. The other one might be an update command to update the switch. So we might have multiple levels of filtering. So we're just going to look at one level, um, but we might have multiple levels of filtering in this. Okay, so now let me just disable that node so it doesn't interfere and now we're going to look at the other one which is using JSON Arta so we'll enable that one um, while I'm there um, we just take the message topic and we apply the split function like we did in the in the function node so we split in the message topic we split it on the forward slash and we're going for the second element and obviously if the structure was differently we'd actually choose a different element here so this will extract what comes out here is either command response and if we put it into a switch node output one is a command and output two is a response and again they go for 31 and 32 so if I inject a command into here it comes out of 31 another command comes out of 31 so it doesn't matter whether it's for command for the main light or the kitchen light and the response will come out of 32 and you see it here. Now JSON Arta um, oh, there is a link in the in the tutorial on JSON Arta and there's actually a, uh, another article on JSON Arta. Very powerful JSON Arta but I, I find it a bit confusing and a bit complex um, but some people obviously prefer it. It that means you avoid using function nodes uh, if you use the JSON Arta structure. Um, but as I prefer, I actually do prefer the function nodes. But I sh thought I'd show you that because it is an alternative method, and you will see it in other flows. So you might want to take a, a closer look at uh, look using JSON Arta. I want that. Let me disable. I meant to disable that now. And the last example is the topic filter. Now, <clears throat> this you'll need to install. This you'll need to install. It's a subflow, and you can see that I've installed it here. It doesn't install as a subflow, though it installs as a function. So I've just edited it so it actually appears as a subflow. I like the subflows to appear up here. One thing you should be aware with when you install a subflow, it's not installed like a module, even though it appears as a module. So if I start um, Node Red with a different um, JSON file, uh, you won't find the subflow there. You have to in install it into each one. But they are very powerful, um, so I recommend you do uh, get familiar with them. So this subflow I got from the internet, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually download it yourself and if we enable it and let's clear all that and if we just look at it here very simple here we just we're looking for the house wildcard response so obviously to get the command I need a different uh, second topic filter so I only showed one here the response one so I need two so if I inject a command into here I don't expect to see anything come out because we're filtering for the response so a response then I get something coming out there and if I take a look at this subflow you can see it here um, and it basically consists of function nodes so it's, it's basically what I was showing you earlier on a function node used for topic filtering uh, I'm not going to actually go into the, the code, uh, but you can actually take a look at it yourself. So there we have it, uh, several methods of filtering uh, message topics I in Node Red. And that brings us to the end of the video, so if you like the video then please like it. If you've got comments then use the comment form below, and if you'd like to get notified of new videos on the channel then you can always subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.